Hey guys, here's a quick demonstration of our amazing new cloud feature called the Event Explorer. So up until now, Amcrest Cloud has mostly just been utilizing the timeline, and the timeline has been great for viewing multiple cameras and seeing how many events occurred. But what if you just wanted to focus on and take a closer look at just the motion events themselves? That's where the Event Explorer comes in. This is our brand new modernized approach on how to get a visual of the events. Being able to quickly get that visual representation of just your events. Forget about anything else that's going on. I just want to focus on what matters to me and that's my events. What's happening in my office, at my home, in my shop, wherever it is, you'll get different types of events that focus on what happened at a particular time. One of the great features is you can just click on any event and it will just quickly play what happened in that time frame. And if I want to just keep playing, I can do that and continue to watch what's happening at that particular time. With this new tool, it's much easier to find the footage you need. You can fast forward if you want. You can now fast forward up to 16x. You can also just quickly download the cloud AI image and it will quickly tell us everything of interest at this particular time. As we can see in this case, it's pretty simple. It just identifies whatever the clip is showing at that time. Or I could download a video clip of this entire event as well. The Event Explorer brings a lot of new capabilities in terms of viewing your events. With just a quick scroll through, I can see all that's happening in a matter of seconds. And this is all based on whatever time range you want. We can filter by today, yesterday, or even a custom time range. And we can filter our events even further by choosing only certain cameras or a particular group, or maybe only certain types of events. And then of course, we can filter with cloud AI, which we'll come back to in a second. So that's one of the core features of the Event Explorer, just being able to quickly review what's happening in my system. Now, what if I wanted to review particular footage every day at a certain time? What you can do is create a view. So let's choose a couple of cameras and give this view a name. And we click apply. So now it's going to show me just these cameras. And then I can go choose yesterday and it will show me all the events from these cameras yesterday. So now anytime I click on this view, it will automatically filter only the cameras, groups, events, or AI settings that I have already set up to be in this view. And so finally, going back to filtering, what if I wanted to leverage the power of cloud AI in a whole new way? Now this new feature is more than just show me a person or show me a car or whatever cloud AI detection that we have. What you can essentially do is create an if then filter. For example, I could filter to only see events that has five or more people. Another example, maybe we have some cameras outside. Usually this place only has two cars, so we only want to get events to show up if there are more than two cars here. As you can see, we've really changed the way we want to visualize events going forward. This is the Event Explorer. This is the Amcrest Cloud.